It is my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Jason Curry, class of 1991. 30 years ago, Jason sat where you are today. As an honors student at Cheshire Academy, Jason was named co-MVP of the cross country team and was a key member of the boys basketball team that advanced to the NEPSAC Final Four. He continues to be very involved in the academy as a member of the Alumni of Color Mentoring Network and a frequent and inspirational speaker to our student athletes. In 2019, he was inducted into Cheshire Academy's Kevin Slaughter Athletic Hall of Fame. That same year, he was honored at Madison Square Garden as the Junior Knicks Coach of the Year and later named the National Junior NBA Coach of the Year at a separate ceremony held in Chicago. Jason graduated from St. Michael's College with a degree in journalism and mass communication. He was a four-year starter on the men's basketball team and graduated with several records in the history of the program. In 2009, he was inducted into the St. Michael's College Athletic Hall of Fame and was named Alumnus of the Year in 2000. 2020. He has also served on the college's alumni board of directors, where he chaired the admissions committee. Jason is in his 21st year as president of Big Apple Basketball. He is responsible for all aspects of its daily operations, including training, marketing, and public events, mentoring, and community programs. Over the past 10 years, his organization has engaged over 2,000 student athletes while assisting over 400 youth in gaining college scholarships. This season alone, there are 24 NBA players who have participated in his program. He has also worked on MSG television as a basketball analyst for Westchester Knicks of the NBA G League, and most recently on ESPN3 as a fill-in analyst for the Manhattan College men's basketball team. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Jason Curry. Uh, class of 2021, good morning, everyone. I get the sense that a lot of you must have been up late last night. Let's try that one more time. Class of 21, good morning. Good morning. So this is what I like to do, because uh, even though I attended here 30 years ago, I know for a fact that we all share uh, very similar experiences based upon our time here at Cheshire Academy. So this is what I'm going to do. Periodically throughout my speech, I'm going to say the phrase, I am you. OK, and whenever I say I am you, I want you to repeat back to me that you are me. OK, so we'll try this right now. I am you. Oh, man. If if this was one of my basketball workouts, everybody would be on the baseline. We'd be running suicides right now. <laughs> I am you. you are me. Very good. The last thing that we'll add to that is after I say I am you, and you say you or me, then we will all say we are Cheshire Academy. Okay? This is just a warm up now. <laughs> I am you. You are me. And we are Cheshire Academy. Beautiful. So I was asked to come up here and give an inspirational speech. Uh, but coincidentally, uh, I'd like to have someone come up here on stage with me who is very much an inspiration to me. Uh, Devin, Devin Bay, can you come up here, please? Everybody give my young fella, Devin, a, a round of applause. So, um, yeah, grab that microphone, Devin. So, um, can we show on the screen a picture of Devin uh, about two months ago so everyone can take a look at Devin, if we have that available, please? And uh, I'll share a quick story. Uh, is the photo up? OK. So two months ago, Devin had a pretty bad accident, and he was in a hospital for about a week fighting for his life. 
and a lot of family and friends and people in the New York City community were praying for Devin, praying that he would stay alive, praying that he would make it, praying that he would come through. And as you can see, Devin is here with us today uh, through the grace of God uh, to be able to stand here at this graduation. And it means a lot to me because Devin is one of my inspirations. So again, uh, clap it up for Devin. The other cool thing is that Devin's dad is actually a Cheshire Academy alum. Uh, Jaja Bay, why don't you stand up class in 1999. And the last thing is Devin doesn't know this, but Devin is a phenomenal speaker. And one of the reasons why I want him to be up here with me today is because one day, Devin is going to be speaking in front of very large crowds, crowds the size of a stadium. And what I want Devin to do today as I speak is Devin's going to stand here next to me because I just want him to visualize and see what it's like to be able to just stand here and look out in the crowd to prepare him for his greatness one day. OK. Uh, the other thing Devin doesn't know is that he's going to do my speech. Are you ready? Yeah. Ah, see, he's ready. I was just joking. <laughs> All right, but Devin, just, just to stand here. So as I reflect on 30 years ago when I entered Cheshire Academy, one of my initial feelings was how scared I was to be here and how nervous I was. Because by the time I got accepted into Cheshire Academy, this was the fifth high school I attended in five years and not by choice. I was doing so poorly academically that I was constantly getting kicked out of schools because of my grades. One school I attended my sophomore year of high school, I was taking six classes and failed five out of the six classes. So I, got, I, I, I was doing so well failing that if somebody needed to hire a professional tutor to teach you how to fail, that would have been me. Then I had to transfer to another school. And because my grades were so bad in the 10th grade, failing five out of six classes, the next school I went to, the only way that they admitted me into the school is they said that I'd have to take the same exact classes over again just to be admitted. And taking the same classes again wound up failing another two. And got kicked out of that school. Then I wound up going to a public school in New York City the year after that. And I had about a 69 average. And that was my fourth high school, fast forwarding through the story. Somehow, some way, I don't know who was responsible for admissions at the time, but they are the real MVP because I don't know how I got admitted into Cheshire Academy with that transcript that I had. I'm actually hopeful that they didn't get fired before graduation based upon admitting me into the school. But for me, I understand that that was just tremendous grace on my life to just, first and foremost, be admitted into a great school like this. So here you see why when I first got here, I was nervous and scared and worried about how was I gonna make it? And I had no idea because to me, I had a great template for failure, but I had no template for success. And I laid out here on the grass during orientation. I remember looking up at the sky. And in my mind, I knew that this would be my last chance to get my act together before I went to college. And I had no idea how I was going to do it. But I knew I wanted to go to college. And I knew I had no more chances after this. And what Cheshire Academy did for me, now hold on, make, make sure everybody's awake. I am you. You are me. And we are. So what Cheshire Academy did for me at that point was it gave me a place to really learn how to study, to prioritize academics, to want to be a great student, to be around other students who were competitive academically. 
And what I did was I just kind of started watching what a lot of my peers were doing. And that's how I learned how to study. I learned how to sit at the front of the class. I learned how to ask questions. For me at that point in my life, basketball was everything. And I knew I was on to something when I called Coach Casson, who was the boys' basketball coach here at the time, and told him that I couldn't make basketball practice because I wanted to do more studying for finals. And Cheshire Academy was so impactful for me in that one year that I wound up graduating with second honors. And what that did was that set the stage for me to be able to go to college. And for a lot of people, college is more difficult than high school. But everything that I learned here at Cheshire Academy and this entire community pouring into me set me up for college success. And I said it two years ago when I got inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame here is that Cheshire Academy literally changed my life. I would not have been prepared to go to college if it wasn't for Cheshire Academy. I might have gone to college, but I wouldn't have been prepared for success if it was not for Cheshire Academy. And then reflecting so many times, we think about the relationships we build and the basketball experience and athletic experience and academically. But when I first got here, I remember speaking to my mother who was living in South America at the time. And she said to me, Jason, how's the new school? You know, how, 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 how's, how's, the, how's the team? You know, how are you doing in school? Are you keeping up with your grades? And I remember telling my mother, Ma, you don't understand. This place is great. This is amazing. And she said, why? I said, we get three meals a day here. When I came to Cheshire Academy, this was the first time in my life that I got to eat three meals a day. So we think about all these other things, basketball. I got to eat three meals a day for the first time in my life when I came to Cheshire Academy. I was so enamored by all the food that they used to have, and I used to steal so much food and bring it back bananas and bagels. I mean, I, I could have set up a deli in my room as much food as I had. Then I came to Cheshire Academy. It was my first time sleeping in a bed in four years. I had a bed to sleep in. Actually, when I was sitting in your shoes 30 years ago when I graduated, my next opportunity to sleep in a bed after graduation is when I got to college in the fall. And these are all things that I didn't understand at the time when I was your age. But as again, I, I began to just reflect on my Cheshire Academy experience and all the wonderful things that it brought to me in my life, I understand how much of a blessing this was for me. I am you. Oh, we should be getting louder as I close this speech out. I am you. And we are. So now we have, we fast forward to 2021 and why am I here? What is my message to all of you? My message to all of you is now as you graduate and you head off into the next phases of your life, that you be a Cheshire Academy for somebody else who wasn't able to attend Cheshire Academy. Some of you understand right now how special Academy was for you at this very moment. Others of you may not understand and realize that till years later. But believe it or not, even though I got accepted in here as bad as my grades were, there are some people who actually don't get admitted into Cheshire Academy. And it is your responsibility as you travel throughout life to be a Cheshire Academy for someone else, to be a 10 Main Street for someone else to be a CheshireAcademy.org for another family, to be so inspirational to someone else that they want to send their children to Cheshire Academy just because they're encountered with you. 
I am you. And we are. So finally, I'd like to finish up by a show of hands. How many of you understand destiny? How many? Just raise your hands. Graduates. How many of you understand what destiny is? Okay. So. <laughs> Devin, do you know what destiny is? No. Okay. Okay. So. I'll give you a story about destiny. Can we show the photo of me attending a basketball camp as a kid? Uh, because I can't see the screens, just let me know when that's up. Okay. So when I was a little kid, my parents used to send me to basketball camps all over the country. And this picture right here is from the summer of 1983. I was 10 years old. Uh, Devin's 11. I, I just got to let him know. At that age, you couldn't beat me. Okay. <laughs> I am you. And we are. So I was 10 years old at this basketball camp, and it was called the Hall of Fame basketball camp run by the gentleman here is, is actually deceased now. His name is Bunny Levitt. It was just a great camp. I, one of the things I remember about that camp is for anybody who knows a, a lot about basketball, they always teach you to follow through. And he'd always have us walking around uh, the entire week of camp saying hello to everybody, waving our follow through. And that's how he had us saying hi. And it wasn't until two years ago when I was getting inducted into the Hall of Fame here at Cheshire Academy that I started going through some old pictures. And I really started studying and analyzing that picture from this basketball camp and just all the great memories that it brought me. And then I flipped the picture over and I could not believe what was written on the back of that picture. Can we go to the next picture? I came to realize that this random place when I was 10 years old that my parents sent me to from Queens, New York for basketball camp happened to be Cheshire Academy. And that's the back of the gymnasium, the back door for some of you who might recognize it. And when I came up here in 2019, I was able to take a picture with my coach from Cheshire Academy at the time at the same exact spot that I was 10 years old when I came to a random basketball camp. And I began to understand more about destiny and things that are destined in your life before you even realize that they're going to happen. So for me coming back here today, I understand that it's not a coincidence that I just randomly wound up here in 1983 at a basketball camp. It's not a coincidence that I got accepted into this school in 1991 in 1990. It's not a coincidence that I graduated in 91. It's not a coincidence that over the past 30 years, something has always drawn me back here to come visit, to visit with students and see teachers. It's not a coincidence that two years ago that I got inducted into the Hall of Fame. And it's not a coincidence that I'm standing here before you now in 2021 as your commencement speaker for this graduation. So I like to close out by saying that I am you, you are me. and we are, and I'd like to thank all of you today for allowing me to come back home and fulfill part of my destiny. God bless you all.